Hello everybody, getting ready to do lesson 2.3 part 2 today of your classwork lesson. It has 24 points on your classwork sheet. Have that out in front of you now. And students, then put your name and date period on your paper, your phone, or your tablet. Let's go into part 2 of uh, simplifying variables. So, Let's go right into our first example here. Example three, simplifying expressions with parentheses. So we have two times quantity x minus four plus nine x plus one. So to simplify this, we're gonna multiply two times x and two times negative four. And we get two x minus eight plus nine x plus one. Now we can combine like terms or first group them, two x plus nine x minus eight plus one and then combine them and we end up with 11x minus 7 from here to here a much simpler expression here let's try another one using our distributive property skill simplifying expression with parentheses so we have 3k minus 8 times quantity k plus 2 equals what so we're going to use distributive property here and we end up with 3k minus 8k minus 16 here. Negative 8 times k is negative 8k. And then negative 8 times positive 2 is negative 16. 3k minus 8k minus 16. And then we combine like terms here. 3k minus 8k is minus 5k minus 16. So that would be the simplification there of that expression using distributive property. And then we have C here, 4A minus the quantity 4A minus 3. And this is a negative 1 out front here. So this becomes 4A minus 1 times quantity 4A minus 3. This becomes 4A minus 4A plus 3. And then when you combine like terms now, we have 0 plus 3. This simplifies to just 3. So it equals 3. This expression equals 3. <clears throat> Let's try one. Simplify this expression here in our guided practice. Students, this is yours down here. Let's go ahead and simplify that expression. So p plus 6 minus the quantity of uh, uh, 6 times the quantity p minus 2 and this is a negative 6 times p and then negative 6 times negative 2 so we have p plus 6 minus 6p plus 12 we combine like terms and we end up with p minus 6p we group like terms move this over here then move this over here so we have p minus 6p plus 6 plus 12 and then that'll further simplify to negative 5p plus 18 is what this comes. Let's go to our next example. This goes into your notebook, students. Example 4, page 5 of your uh, in your notebook. Uh, during your during your workout described on page 78, which we went into earlier in the classwork. You spend a total of 45 minutes jogging and swimming. You burn 14 calories per minute when jogging and 8 calories per minute when swimming. A. Let J be the time you jog in minutes. Write an expression in terms of J for the total calories you burn during your workout. So J is for jogging. So Write a verbal model for the total number of calories burned. We have calories per minute jogging times jogging time plus calories per minute swimming times swimming. So we have swimming time and we have jogging time. I use the verbal model to write a variable expression and then simplify it. Note that because your entire workout lasts 45 minutes and your jogging time is J, your swimming time must be 45 minus J. So 14j, 14j plus 8 times quantity 45 minus j, this is your swimming, equals 14j plus 360 minus 8j using the distributive property. And then we're going to group like terms now. We're going to move this over here. So we have 14j minus 8j plus 360. 
And then when we combine like terms, we end up with 6j plus 360. 14j minus 8j is 6j plus 360. Combining like terms. Now, knowing that much, during your workout described, again, we're going to go to a second part of this. When jogging eight cotters per minute with swimming B, evaluate the expression in part A when J equals 20. So now we have a jogging session of 20 minutes. We can plug it into our uh, uh, expression here, showing how many calories we burn when we jog 20 minutes, 6J plus 360. So we have 6 times 20 plus 360 equals 480 calories is what we get when we jog 20 minutes. Uh, this uh, going to our guided practice up here. You are making a rectangular rug. You want the rug to be twice as long as it is wide. Let W represent the width in feet of the rug. So part A here, write an expression in terms of W for the perimeter of the rug. And then part B, write an expression in terms of W for the area of the rug. And then this is yours down here, students. This is the rug problem, part C and D here. So let's go into part A. Write an expression in terms of W for the perimeter. Of <clears throat> so we're going to find the perimeter here. Uh, you want the rug to be twice as long as it is Why? Let W represent the width in feet of the rug. So write an expression in terms of W for the perimeter of the rug. So let W equal the width of the rug. So the length equals 2W. So now the perimeter will equal 2L plus 2W. And in this case, L equals 2W. So L here, we plug in 2W. So now we have 2 times 2W plus 2W equals 4w plus 2w equals 6w. So the perimeter of the rug is 6w feet. Okay, so now part B, write an expression in terms of w for the area of the rug. Area equals length times width. And we have 2w times w. So uh, our area of the rug will be 2w squared. The area of the rug would be uh, 2w squared square feet. And that's your lesson for today, Animated PowerPoint Math Video at AOL.com for questions or course materials. Thank you very much.